Chris is one of the live streamers who started the protests against Scientology last year. Yesterday, he went downtown Los Angeles and visited some Scientologists at the Alameda Market. As is often the case, the reaction is, Oh my God, a live streamer is here. Let's pack up quickly. This is a very welcome response. The live streamer doesn't have to do much. All he has to do is pick up a smartphone and film what the highly motivated recruiters are doing. It would be nice if it were that simple. Scientology has allies and they are generally not very friendly and like to get violent. Chris knows the risk. He has been followed by private investigators several times in the last few days. In my last video, you could see how someone tried to stop Chris from filming at another market in the city. We don't got the Dianetics today. I said anywhere in LA, we can't go. I said anywhere in LA. Let me see, they gonna pack it up, don't worry. See, they probably got her into. She's packing it up. Quick too, right? It's okay if you guys want to leave the Sea Org, by the way. I'm going to leave this right here for y'all if y'all need it. This is very thoughtful. They can just smuggle the SPTV Foundation flyer in between the books. After Chris arrives, it takes about four minutes for the guy to arrive and then get physical. Y'all know. You see any really security or something? Yeah. We'll see. Look, look where they're at. Downtown in the middle of nowhere. I guess they go to, to this little, uh, to these little markets or whatever. You gotta call, you gotta call Osa. I know it's part of your job, man. I know, I know you're told to do that. I would have loved Sebastian out here. You have to pack it up. Yeah, they big targeting Latinos over here. Say it loudly, unbelievable. I'm not sure if you're my favorite here too. I love you both. She will now set off to get Robert Priest. He is the organizer of the market. His words, not mine. And in this blog post about the market, he was mentioned by name. Man, damn. It's okay to call your family if you want to call your family. Ah, uh, damn. See. I run Hubbard, flying out over here. They packing it up. Chopping it and chopping it. Yeah, yeah. We're right by downtown right here, Chad. They are almost ready to leave when Robert Priest turns up and from the get-go, he is bossy. Put it right here. You can't have to with my vendors, please. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not really messing with them. They're gonna leave, actually. Yeah, but I can't you know have you be doing what you're doing here. I'm just filming here. It's a public event. I know that you don't need an invitation, so I can film here. I'm just filming here. They're actually leaving now. I don't know if you know, but they're a human trafficking pole. It doesn't matter who they are. I'm the one that runs this business. All right, cool. I'm the one that runs the organization. Well, I'm just filming. So they're they're cool. paying me to be here, so cool. I'm just I, I filming. Need to stop. stop. Stop me from what? Stop from filming? Stop Stopping a piece of shit. You don't. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're I talking about. I'm just Stop recording. That's I'm it. just recording. These people actually, their their family might be looking for them. That's why I'm I'm filming. Yeah. Just stop being a piece of shit and leave people alone. Don't That's tell. Don't They're doing their own thing. All Let right, them cool. do their thing. Cool. So keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Don't keep touch going. Me. Whatever you do, don't touch me. Keep going. Whatever you do, don't touch me. Keep going. Back the fuck me. up. Keep going. Whatever you do, don't touch me. Go. Let's go. Don't you be a piece of shit. I'll be one with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't touch me. This guy, I'm just filming him. This guy is the one coming at me. He's the one coming at me. These people are leaving. He touched me first. I'm just filming. Whatever the Scientology woman said to the organizer of the market, it was certainly worse than we can imagine. That's a problem when strangers believe the words of Scientologists, especially when they are also protecting recruitment attempts. We need a solution for the live streamers. How can they defend against Scientology's lies? He hit me, uh, she hit me like one or twice, but it's cool. 
Come again. You see, you see them, Ah, shit, they're right there. Look. Look at them. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I knew, I knew, I knew it was gonna bounce out. I took a, a hit or two, but it's cool. That's a popular market too, I know. Finally, Chris calls the LAPD to report the incident and request a PPA if necessary. LA City 911, operator 797. Oh, uh, hello, I need a... I need the LAPD in uh, Main and 11th Street, please, at the market. At Main and 11th? Yeah, at the market. What's going on there? Well, I was just filming and a guy uh, came at me and pushed me and tried to attack me. I just tried to defend myself, but he's still in there. 90 minutes okay. later, a police car arrives with two officers. Solomon, Jess, and Streets have also come to support Chris. Oh, look, it's right there. Yeah. Hello? Yo. I called. I called. Uh, battery. Somebody hit me in there. Me. Uh, hello, how's it going? I was just uh, recording in there. Um, recording where? recording inside the market okay. and uh the guy came up to my face and uh told me not to not to film i guess i said well i'm just filming so he started getting closer to me i started backing up said don't touch me don't touch me it's on video it's all on video so um he started getting closer and closer and closer then uh he's he kept on pushing me he kept on touching me hold on are these people with you uh yeah right now yeah okay did anyone see what happened uh no only me but it's only on video you? okay the reason why i asked is because uh while you explained it to my partner i could talk to them right right no, 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 no. the video i have video games you have yet yeah we have the video yeah okay but you're saying talk to my partner yeah all right so it's from the video that from his perspective so, so yeah in there okay you're in there you're reporting your approach but you're reporting it's it's on your video i think yeah, I'm a live streamer, yeah. Okay, so you're live streaming, and then you're approached by the suspect. He tells you to stop recording him? Yeah, st start filming the vendor. Keep, yeah, he pushed me. He pushed me, though. That's the whole thing. That's why I said don't touch me. Okay, so he's walking towards you. At some point, you guys make contact, right? Well, I didn't try to make contact. I'm backing up the whole time. He's walking towards you. You're backing up. But at some point, he ch his, basically, his chest touches your chest. And you keep walking. It's his stomach. Okay, yeah. either or. Right? Yeah. Uh, it was like two hours ago. So, at some point, that happens, and then... That's when you push them back too? Yeah, after it happened already two oh multiple God. times. He touches you and then you push him back. Yeah. And then um and then he just starts like punching him. Is he like this? From the he's video, it shows that his hands are out like this, right? Yeah, he, he's just telling me like know, a security, yeah, like yeah, yeah. like a bouncer, like Chris has reported several times what happened and wants the officer to execute a private person arrest. The tricky thing is that the other guy can do this too. The video of Chris does not show everything, and there was no other person with him who filmed it. The other guy has the right to do it because Chris pushed him, and thus became active himself. It doesn't matter whether he defended himself or started it. The other guy also has the right to demand a PPA. Chris consults with Streets about this. So, the right, the right thing is a PPA, right? Yeah, but they want to take me too at this point. But if he he's not lying, they'll give him the opportunity to so do it on me to too. To say, because the video kind of shows up until, you, I guess, your phone got knocked out of your hand or something? Mm. Or, or got... Yeah, it just probably up. fell, yeah. And so, they're going to be like, they don't know what happened after that. And so, they're going to be like, you know, you'll get the PPA on him, but, but then they'll yeah, offer yeah, yeah. him to do it. And is that... You don't want to fucking deal with that shit today. Right. It's like, I'm going to jail for... Unless it was, like, super bad, but... Just take it for what it is? Or, you know... <sighs> you know what I'm saying? It's one of those kind of clear. Too, you know? I think it was on self-defense, though. I know. It's yeah. the right thing. Me, personally, I'd be like... Take his ass to jail. But then I'll be like, I know I'm going to jail, too, though. Right, right, right. So, I mean, you gotta be smart. Hey, so, so 
Chris is smart and withdraws the PPA and stays with the battery report. It has no impact on the case if a PPA is executed. There is only the possibility that Chris will also be arrested, and he clearly says, if it was against Scientology, then yes, but it doesn't help this way. In my opinion, a good decision. Is that fair? No, but laws are not always fair. Thank you, Chris, for taking to the streets every day to protest against Scientology. You know it's dangerous and you do it anyway. Thank you to all the brave protesters who go out and show the world that we don't agree with what Scientology is doing.